Now this morning I was looking at the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now why was he crucified? Because of your sin and mine. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's the problem that we have and God wants to sort that problem out for us. And the only way that can be sorted out is through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary. That's why I'm here again this Arvo to bring you the message of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. The only way that we can get right with God and have forgiveness for our sins is through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So uh, Luke chapter 24, he'd been crucified. And this morning I read concerning the crucifixion of Christ for our sins. You and I have a debt we cannot pay. But the Lord Jesus Christ paid that debt in his own precious blood when he was crucified upon the cross. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Now, upon the first day of the week, this is uh, Luke chapter 24, very early in the morning, then they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them, and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. No wonder. He'd risen from the dead exactly as he told his disciples time and time again. He said that he was going to suffer many things of the scribes and Pharisees and all those people, the chief priests, and be, uh, and, uh, be crucified, and the third day he would rise. And here was the third day, and he'd risen according to the scriptures, exactly as it was prophesied concerning him in the word of God, the Bible. Yes, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was... Yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And as I said, here's the third day, and he's risen again from among the dead. Praise the Lord for the resurrection of Jesus Christ on the third day, the victor over sin, death, hell, and the devil. Now you and I, as I said, we have a debt that we cannot pay, because of our sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the wages of sin is death. There is a price to pay for sin. It's not only physical death, but it's eternal death and eternal judgment in the lake of fine brimstone where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. And because God does not want us to go there, he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to take our punishment upon himself. That you and I, if we put our faith in Jesus Christ, we will be saved. We'll be saved from the wrath of Almighty God. You see, you and I are condemned already because of our sin. We don't have to do anything to be condemned. We've condemned ourselves. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And so that's the problem that God has with us. He wants to forgive you of all of your sins. And the only way he can do that is through the once for all sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross. And as we've been reading, he's risen from the dead the third day, according to Scripture. He is not here, but is risen. Yes, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and the Mary of, uh, and Mary the mother of James and other women that were with them which told these things unto the apostles and their words seemed to be as idle tales. And they believed them not. In other words, they thought they were joking. They thought this could not be. But the Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. As I said, praise the Lord for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you want the way to heaven, have a great night. Thank you. Yes, uh, it was Mary Magdalene.
Evelyn and Joanna, the Mary uh, and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles, and their words seemed to be as idle tales to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about uh, three score furlongs, in other words, sixty furlongs, and they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? Now what are you talking about here? And why are you sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleophas, uh, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came, saying that, uh, they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre, and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Do you like the way to heaven? Yep, have a great night. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. You see, the whole Bible, the whole word of God speaks of Jesus Christ. He's all through the whole Bible. He's the main event. He's the main character in the Bible, the Word of God. And of course the crucifixion is the main event. Because the Lord Jesus Christ had to suffer on account of our sin. He himself has no sin and yet he was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And they drew nigh unto the village or near unto the village whither or where they went and he made as though he would have gone further, but they con uh, constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them, and it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and brake, and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? What a wonderful time of fellowship they had with the Lord Jesus Christ when he was explaining to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. As I said, the whole Bible, the whole word of God speaks of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to present him unto you. I want to commend him unto you this afternoon. That you will come to know him as your saviour. So that he won't be your judge. See, it's either going to be, we're either going to meet him as our saviour, or we're going to meet him as our judge. Don't let that be you. 
You must come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour, as I said, otherwise he'll be our judge. Now he doesn't want to have to judge us, but he will if you die without the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour, he will judge you. You will be in hell. And God does not want you to go down to hell. And that's why I come this hour to bring you the message of salvation for our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And they rose up from the, self, the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. And as they thus uh, spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. Well, obviously his hands and his feet had pierce marks in them from the nails that were put into them. When he was crucified upon the cross, they nailed him hand and foot. And he's the one who loves us infinitely. And he wants us to be saved. The only way you can be saved is if you come in repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and your soul will be saved. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of a boiled fish, and of an honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. Yes, he did that just to prove the fact that he was there physically and bodily. It wasn't a spirit. The physical body of our Lord Jesus Christ, he had resurrected from the dead, and he was before them, and he ate something just to prove that he was there in physical reality. Yes, the Lord is risen indeed. He's become the first fruits of them that slept. He wants to be your saviour this afternoon. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? Will you put your faith in him? The one whom to know is life eternal. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. In whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Make a wise choice this afternoon. Get right with God by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal redemption. For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Now, if you're interested in this, look me up youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.